In this lesson, we're going to add a call to action. You know, it's very important that your website have some type of call to action because, you know, people like to be told what to do when they come on your website. And when you have a call to action here, it makes things a lot easier for them to locate. So you have the call to action title. I'm just going to scroll down and just put some, you know, some text here and we'll come back to edit it. But I just want you to get a look, you know, and for how it looks on the front end. And then you can put in here your website.com or whatever your website is. And you can choose success. Do you want an icon? I'm going to put some icons because I love icons. Do you want it to be full width or do you want it to be just normal? And you can choose the position too. You know, you can choose right or bottom. So let's leave it at the right and click save. Okay, so now you have it here. This is the, the call to action. And you have the button on the right side. So if you don't want to have this title, you know, you can take that title off. Let's go ahead and just edit this. And you can also change the tag, the, the head and tag for that. If you want that to be a different color. Let's see, you want the background to be. And then you want the icon. This is the icon here. What color do you want it to be? Now you have to remember that if you're changing the background for this, then it needs to you know you don't want the many colors to clash so if you want to have a this is what the large button looks like and then let's change this to a primary and then you want this to be full let's take a look at the full and then you want this to be at the bottom okay so let's take a look with those modifications we just made so with the modifications now, you notice everything it looks a lot different. So if you're trying to get this particular style or effect for your page to look like this, then you can, you know, set it up this way. And once again, you can change the margins for the space between each item here. So you just click on edit. And then you can choose to, you know, change the margins here for this from the top and the bottom. So if you want to change the icon, the color, right now it's, you know, it's white, uh, button text. Let's do the sign of today. And then you click save, refresh, and there, you know, there you have it. 